Uh, so now we have actually introduced uh, most of the common supervised machine learning models. Uh, so, uh, so when you have a data set and you want to use machine learning model to make predictions, um, you may choose different type of the machine learning models, or you may just, um, if you have a, uh, enough time, you can try all the machine learning models, and you can choose uh, the model with high accuracies. However, so normally there are other considerations when we want to compare the performance of the machine learning models. So here we are, I'm going to introduce one um, parameter or one way that to assess the performance. So that is called a uh, receiver operating characteristic curve, or in short, it is called ROC. Again, ROC is not the only one that we use to assess the model performance, but that is one that one of the most commonly used ones. So there are also other methods that can assess um, the model performance. Okay, so and, and also ROC is for classification. So if you want to compare the result for regressions, I think you can just simply calculate R squares. Okay, uh, so remember that when we make predictions uh, so we we normally we uh, predict let's say uh, if the result is true or false uh, so we calculate the possibility that uh, being each category so if for this true false uh, prediction so we calculate the probability that is a confidence so if the probability becoming false is great than 0.5 that will be false, okay? And if that is less than 0.5, that will be true, okay? Uh, so that, so 0.5 is the threshold in this case. So however, so sometimes we can change the threshold so that uh, we can adjust the decision of the classifications. Uh, so sometimes we may want a high precision Okay, and sometimes we may want a high recall. So, for example, if you change this one to 0.4, okay, so as long as uh, the probability is greater than 0.4, so that will be considered false. Okay, so in the, in this case, this result will now be predicted as false by using this new threshold rather than true. Okay. So that means by changing those threshold, the predict result will be different, and also precision and also recall will also be different. Okay, so uh, normally by default we're using 0.5 as a threshold. However, so in a, in a real world um, calc applications, so you can set the threshold slightly different. So in the case, so for example, if you want a high precision or if you want high recall. Okay, um, so then how can we get ROC? So ROC, that means that when, cons we, when we consider all the poss possibility threshold for given classify, and we calculate um, the false positive rate and also true positive rate. Okay, uh, so for example here, um, Okay, let, let me just use this chart uh, directly. So here, we put the true positive rate on the X and also false positive rate on the Y, okay? And next, we say I use the threshold, say, for example, 0.1, okay? And when the threshold of point is 0.1, we can see that, okay, so the uh, false positive rate is about this value, or true positive rate is about this value, and false positive rate is about this value, okay? And now we, we identify the point on this chart. And next, we choose the threshold that say 0.2. And now we see, okay, so the true positive value is this one, and also the false positive is value is this one. So now we have this star, okay? And we keep continuing, so we, we, we try out all the possible thresholds, okay? So you can see the, the calculation is very intensive and we all have all the, all the points, okay? 
and uh, finally we will have a curve okay so if we connect all the points together so we'll have this roc curve okay so that is how we get the roc curve ideally when we have roc curve we want the curve to close to the top left okay we want the curve to close to the top left because we want classifier that produce high recall and also low false positive rate okay high recall and also low uh, false positive rate so we want value on the x to be smaller okay so towards the left and we want value on the uh, y to be higher so towards the top okay so ideally so the best curve will well, something like this, okay? So towards the, the top left, okay? Uh, so now we can calculate the ROC for each type of the machine learning models. So in this case, we can say we calculate uh, for the same data set. We use naive bay, logistic regression, decision tree, and gradient boosted trees, generalized linear model, SVM, Fast large in, large margin is uh, is a, is something that's very similar to SVM, uh, deep learning um, and also random forest, okay. And in this case, we can see this red line is the random forest, okay. So that that means this one is doing not bad, and this green line is also is a generalized linear model, okay. So that also is not doing bad, and this line it's probably uh, it's hard to tell so probably this green dent boosted trees okay so that means green dent boost trees is not doing well so as good as the others other models okay so now we can compare the performance of the models by checking by compare the roc curve so roc and we want a model that is close to the top left uh, once we have the ROC curve, uh, we can also calculate the area and the curve. So that also is called AUC. So AUC um, is calculating the area and the curve. So for example, in this case, I would say that this green line, so if we calculate the areas, so that is pretty small. And if we calculate the areas for the red lines, so those will be this bigger, so that will be much bigger, okay? Uh, so AUC is used to summarize the uh, ROC that by using a single number. So the higher the AUC is, the better the model is. Okay. So now if we look at the AUC of those models, we can see, yes, indeed, Random Forest has the highest AUC. So here we are using the percentage. And the followed by the generalized linear model. Okay. So uh, Random Forest is this red line. Um, generalized linear model is this green line and we can see the worst ones that has the lowest AUC value is green in both trees so that is this green line okay so that is one way that we can compare the performance of the models by using ROC and also by checking the AUC